Welcome back to Paper Highlighter. Today, we're diving into one of the most talked about relationships from 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After, Rob Warren and Sophie Sierra. Their love story was anything but smooth, and as we've learned, Rob's actions played a major role in their downfall. Now, he's moved on with a new girlfriend, leaving fans to wonder how things got so bad between him and Sophie. Let's break down the ways Rob humiliated Sophie during their doomed romance. It seems 90 Day Fiancé star Rob Warren has found love again. The Los Angeles native, who first appeared on season 10 of the popular reality show alongside London-based influencer Sophie Sierra, is now dating someone new. Rob and Sophie initially connected through social media, where Rob's career as a model and actor made him a magnet for attention. Throughout their relationship, viewers saw Sophie struggling with Rob's past, as he admitted to being addicted to the validation he received from women due to childhood trauma. This constant need for attention ultimately led to tensions between the couple, with Sophie feeling mistreated by Rob's behavior. Now, after their tumultuous journey, Rob has moved on, sparking conversations among fans about his past and whether he has truly changed. As he steps into this new chapter, only time will tell if Rob has learned from his experiences with Sophie. Rob cheated on Sophie multiple times in their relationship. Rob first cheated on Sophie while they were still navigating the challenges of a long-distance relationship. It all started when he received some messages from an anonymous person on social media, who later revealed everything to Sophie. Despite the betrayal, Sophie chose to forgive Rob at the time. However, her intuition kept telling her that something was still off. Her suspicions were confirmed when she discovered some disturbing videos on Rob's phone. Although Rob claimed these exchanges took place before Sophie arrived in Los Angeles, she wasn't convinced. The situation worsened after their marriage when Sophie decided to check Rob's phone again. To her shock, she found out that he had been messaging not one, but 50 different women on Instagram, contradicting his earlier claims. Rob didn't provide Sophie with comfortable living conditions. It's definitely not like a normal situation of having a bathroom outside. Sophie told the cameras. Rob knew Sophie came from a privileged background. She had shared stories of attending private schools and having maids at her disposal, thanks to her wealthy grandfather. When Sophie moved in with Rob in Los Angeles for a few months before officially relocating on her K-1 visa, she expected better living conditions given their impending marriage. Instead, Sophie found herself in an apartment with a foul-smelling bathroom situated away from the main house in a shared space. To make matters worse, Rob didn't even even have proper bedding. Sophie expressed her discomfort to Rob, pointing out that she wasn't sleeping well and suggesting they get a duvet. She even revealed that she didn't have a quilt to sleep with. Rob dismissed her request for a duvet as stupid, clearly annoyed by her complaint. Although Sophie was prepared to stay in the cramped studio, she felt that providing a duvet was a minimal effort Rob could make to ensure she felt more comfortable. Rob accused Sophie of having an affair with her best friend. After their wedding, Sophie and Rob relocated to Austin. Initially, Sophie appeared content with their new home, however, her stay was short-lived. Sophie left Rob's apartment when she uncovered that he had been unfaithful not just once but with multiple women on social media, contradicting his earlier claims. Following their split, Sophie found refuge with a friend named Kay, who welcomed her into her home. It seems that Sophie continues to live with Kay to this day. Meanwhile, Rob confided in a friend about his concerns that Sophie might be cheating on him with Kay since moving in together. Sophie has suggested Rob allegedly abused her. Rob's issues extended beyond commitment. He also displayed aggression towards Sophie. Claire Cheshire, Sophie's mother, brought disturbing footage to light, alleging that Rob had abused Sophie. One video shared by Mary Pants shows Rob threatening to take Sophie's phone and break it while she cries and pleads in the background. Recently, Reddit user Rochnera discovered a reel featuring Sophie in a conversation with a fan following the tell-all episode of 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After Season 8. I have a lot of receipts actually Actually. Also, if you do her research online, there are videos. Sophie appeared to be referencing the videos posted by her mother, Claire, that revealed Rob's troubling behavior. During a conversation with a fan, Sophie attempted to explain why she stayed with Rob despite his infidelities. She described her actions on 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After as a trauma response, and opened up about suffering from severe depression due to her experiences at home. Sophie emphasized that those who haven't endured abuse would struggle to fully understand her situation. She expressed frustration, stating, But sure, defend an abuser just because you don't like how I look on TV.